What is up, guys? Welcome to the 10th episode of the Twisted League series. This is going to be a special one. So let's kick things off with 32 easy food scores. And the last one is Garbo, like most of them. But we hit the 100 easy treasure trails. Didn't get anything particularly useful from this run, but the god robes will definitely come in handy, that's for sure. Alright guys, we are back in the catacombs. I got a brutal black dragon task and these anti-fires are actually pretty good. I just want to show you guys what an inventory of these dragons looks like. It's pretty good. And if you didn't know, you get two black dragon hides instead of one in addition to the bone, so it's very good XP. All right, not the fastest task in the world, but we finished it and we banked a lot of loot. So if you guys didn't already notice yet, this is episode 10, and the goal for this episode is to get to solo a raid. Now I have actually never soloed a raid. I've only gone in groups. I have a decent amount of KC on the main game, well, like 90, but I, I've done enough raids to where I understand some of the basic mechanics of how it works. So I think going forward with that experience, I should be able to at least complete a solo raid, even if it's on the Twisted League and I have scuffed gear. Speaking of gear, we're gonna need a few things before we are able to attempt this raid. Namely, we're gonna need one Abyssal Whip. We're also gonna need 90 Herb Lore and some better melee stats. The rest of the gear we are pretty much set on. Of course, like if we get a Dragon Warhammer on the Slayer grind, that would be great, but you can't really count on that. So that's the plan. Man, this Dragon Sword shreds these things. And yes, I am using the bones on the altar because if you take a look at the XP, it's almost the same as using a Dragon Bone on a Gilded Altar in the main game. So it's still pretty decent XP. And we have the teleport, so it's not a big deal at all. There's 84 Slayer, which means one more level until we unlock Abyssal Demons. I can't wait, honestly. I can't wait. So I'm killing Drakes. I really don't see a point in doing these until I have a whip, so. Bye. Hellhounds, that, that works for me. Guys, my prayer bonus in this gear is astronomical. And there we go, 89 strength. You know what? I think it's about time that we unlocked the superior slayer monsters. We're gonna have to do this anyways. And there are a couple league tasks for slaying them, so we may as well. How much does this give? Holy mother of- I decided that I don't really wanna show too much farming content in case you were wondering because it's literally farming in the same place at the same time and everyone else is doing it. And honestly, I'm kinda tired of watching other people do it myself. No hate, but I'm just saying, uh, I probably won't show any of it unless it's like 99 or something. I decided to try out some lizard man shamans because one, I've never really done them, and two, I need some charges anyways, so uh, maybe we'll get lucky at a dragon war hammer. Not counting on it though. Nice, we got some fangs. That's a start. So whenever I do worms, I like to teleport to my house and then just use all the bones on the altar. That way I'm getting some free prayer XP and I won't have to do it later either, so it's pretty good. I'm actually gonna be growing some yew trees because with their roots, I can make some antidote plush potions, which should be our best antidote potions on the Twisted Leaf. Still doing some worms and there's 73 prayers. See guys, I told you this was worth it. And we made it, everybody. 85 Slayer, the one we've been waiting for. With 98 range to top it all off, awesome. Can we get lucky? Please. Oh, we'll do those. I don't really have a choice because I only have 34 Slayer points, but I don't really want to do Abbey Demon's off task. It, I mean, it's not like we have Konar's Blessing to get that damage boost on task, but still, I want to be efficient here because I'm going to be going for 95 Slayer for the Elite Diary anyways, so I don't think I'm going to do Abbey Demon's until I get a task for them. Come on, Konar, you know what I want. <laughs> What sucks is that I don't really have points to even skip this task, so I guess we're gonna be doing it. Besides, you never know, we might get lucky and get some dragon plate legs, or we'll just get soul runes. All right, well, now that I think about it, I don't think it was actually worth using these anti-fires on the task, but I mean, it was kind of nice to just sit back and relax. Not Abbey Demons. You know, we already have the points now, so I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the Shaman's task. That way we have a chance at getting it for some Slayer XP. I don't know, it might be good, it might might be pretty bad. I don't know. You know what? Screw it. I'm not doing fire giants. Let's go. Some jellies. 
Those are good, we still got chins. Ah, yes, this is much more like it. I just wanna interject here, I'm not really sure why there's a black bar on my screen, but I guess that's just how the recording came out. Such a fast task, I'm literally done already, so <laughs> pretty good, pretty good XP. All right, please, no. No, we're canceling those. Bye. Temple spiders. Okay, I guess. I figure since I'm going down here, I may as well bring as many dragon bones as I can. That way I can use them on this altar. This one's better than the one in my house, so pretty good. And just looking at these XP drops, it is definitely worth it. And we're done. Please, please, can we get an Abbey Demon task? <laughs> Guys, help me. I I'm starting to go crazy. And I can't really turn those down. Those are good points. Uh, I mean, it's better. Actually, that's, that's gonna take a long time because we don't have barrage. Uh, we'll go try them. They're probably good GP, I, I guess. Mate, look at those XP drops. Wow. Okay, so I've just continued to slay and now we're on worms and we're about to get 91 strength. And as you'll notice, uh, I'm 86 Slayer and we have not gotten a single Abbey Demon task. So I might have to just go camp those. 75 prayer though. All right, I got a couple chests here and uh, oh, the lobsters are good XP. And iron dragons again. <laughs> yes, that's what we're looking for. Okay, well, now we can actually go for a whip. I'm gonna try out melee, but uh, I'm not sure how well this is gonna work. Okay, well, we finally reached the point where a lot of other people are. And uh, I'm not sure how long this is gonna take. I also don't know how long I'm gonna use melee. I might just switch to maybe a mage setup. That might be good. So the plan is to alk all this stuff because uh, I'm, it turns out I'm poor. So with the cash I earn from these alks, I'll be able to go buy some runes and hopefully do some Abbey Demons. Would you believe I had 2.1 mil sitting in my bank this whole time in alks? Well, this is the setup and I'm, I'm not really sure how long this is gonna take me. This is gonna be one of those things that is completely dependent on RNG, so I'll be back when I actually get the whip. All right, a superior, what's it gonna be? Well, 87 Slayer, and uh, nothing. And there goes the task. Uh, honestly, I might just stay here because uh, I don't really wanna keep canceling tasks and then doing other stuff. Honestly, I I I'm in the mood. I'm in the mood to do this. Let's get it. Since I'm gonna be on the standard spell book, I, I figured I may as well get some of these dark essence blocks because I can turn these into teleport tabs. That way I can continue doing farm runs in the meantime while I'm camping Abbey Demon, so I can keep up on that. I needed to do something AFK real quick, so I decided to do some of this herb lore. Turns out we have a lot of herbs saved up and uh, getting close to 90. That's going to be one of the requirements we need for raids, so that's the plan. There's 87. Alright guys, I'm back at Abbey Demons. Wish me luck. <laughs> Guys, I am so bored here that I've turned to casting vulnerability on every single Abyssal Demon. And it's only been two hours. 91 magic. Well, I've already used all the runes that I bought earlier. I really hope that this is the last time we have to do this. Several hours later. Okay, I'm sorry if this is gonna be pretty anticlimactic, but I finally got the whip. It's literally like 50 kills after I switched to mobile because I wanted to watch a movie after recording for like nine hours straight. So there you go. Our kill count was 469. Would you guys just look at how many Abyssal Demon heads I got from the task, man. This is gonna be a boatload of prayer XP. I can't wait to get back to Slayer, honestly. And how about that fashion skate, man? I am a true pirate warrior. So those prayer levels we just got are gonna help out a ton while we do Slayer because the more prayer points we have, the more prayer points we get when we drink a sip of prayer potions. So it just means we're being more efficient. And just like that, we are already 81 attack. The XP rates are phenomenal with this whip. Oh, it's a big boy. And the Necroil superiors are such a pain, man. You take so much damage. And uh, nothing. Wow, another one. And uh, nothing. That task took 
ages. I am so glad we're done. At least we're making out of here with a good chunk of change. And we got 13 steel dragons. Uh, I, I may as well do this because it's only 13. It shouldn't take too long. I really want to test out my whip, but... I guess uh, Konar doesn't want me to. I mean, at least we have a use for these emerald bolts. All right, guys, is this gonna be the dragon stone? All right, guys, now that we have the whip, our next goal is to get 90 attack and 90 defense. We're gonna do this through Slayer. I have no idea how Ulm is gonna go, so we're gonna need all the help we can get. Okay, I am currently 112 combat with 80 defense, 91 attack, 91 strength, and 90 slayer. So the plan right now is to pretty much bust out some slayer until we get up to 90 defense-ish. Maybe bring those up as well, um, it just kind of depends. And if we get 95 slayer in the process, well then hell, that's even better. That's gonna put us at 91 slayer. I'm starting to AFK a little too much here. It's gonna get dangerous. Ah, oh, mother of God. Finally, after too long, we have hit the base 90s in all of our melee stats. We're also 97 hit points, 92 Slayer, which means we now have the stats for Chambers of Zarek. Next up on our list is to quickly bang out this 90 hair blower. And we should be doing some raids very soon. Hell yeah, that is our fifth kill. We got the bucket, the holy bucket of compost. And I didn't even realize I was so close to an herblower level, but there's 88. We just need 90 and we can make some overloads and raids. May as well go check these. I'm gonna need some coconuts for to protect this magic tree, which is my contract. Wish there was another way to get these, honestly. Oh man. That was a ton of XP. 250 league points as well. So I have used every single herb in my bank and we are this close to getting 90 hair blower. So we're gonna have to clean these real quick. There we go. 90 hair blower, you know what this means, boys. Time to raid. 